Today I have some awesome custom match types for you to create in WWE 2K23. I asked the community online and I got some awesome ideas, so thank you everybody who shared all of the different matches you like to do. The first one we have here is a five-way first blood match. Select five-man match and then normal. Make it a first blood. The ring out we have set to no count. Eliminations are on and there's no time limit. Choose whatever weapons you like and this match ends up being a banger because you are going to have to go through all five competitors. One more of a challenge, set a time limit in there of like 10 minutes to see if you can really beat the clock almost. Turn it into almost a beat the clock challenge. Sticking with the five way matches, next we have a five way Iron Man tables match. Under five man match, head over to table, toggle it so that we have Iron Man on. The time limit, I put it in as 20 minutes. Then I start the match off with one finisher, but to make it more of a challenge, I ended up only allowing one table in the entire match. You could set it up so you have all tables as the weapons, but if you do it with just one, you end up having a really long, grueling match because you're fighting over trying to access one table. As soon as one table has been used, obviously it's all broken in the ring, and then you gotta make your way or someone is gonna try to grab the next table and bring it into the ring. It creates more drama and it makes the match last a lot longer. It's way more fun this way. Your next match, one I love, it's a classic. I hope they bring it back in 2K24. I don't know why it's not in there. They don't use it in WWE anymore. They definitely should. We're talking about a scramble match. This is a five way match once again, and we have a normal match rules. What we're doing is we are turning Iron Man on. For this, you wanna set the time limit to 20 minutes with no count out for the ring out. The weapons can be standard and use whatever you like. But the main point here for the championship scramble is you're going to put the title on the line. Theoretically, in a regular scramble match, championship scramble match, every time you get a pin, you are now the WWE champion. They totally need to bring this back on TV, but in here it makes for a great, great title match. The next one is an Iron Man no exit match. But once again, five way rules. You can set this up for four way, five way, six way, eight way, it don't matter to me. But five way makes it very, very intriguing and a lot of fun to do. Set up for normal five way match rules. Pins and submissions are on. Iron Man rules are on. The rope breaks I turned off. And ring out is the big one here, no exiting. No one's gonna be allowed to leave the ring in this one. Set it to like 20 minutes for the time limit to make it really interesting. And I played through this match and it was just, it's hard. It's really hard because you're trying to score as many pinfalls as possible, but because no one can be tossed out, you're limiting this to like one pinfall. Whoever's getting one pin is gonna be declared the winner. And it's gonna happen really late in the match. The next one might be one of my new favorites and it's a last man standing Hell in a Cell. Set up for standard one-on-one -on -one match inside Hell in a Cell. We're turning off pin and submission. Toggle last man standing on. You could do a time limit, but no limit works out just fine. I set it up so we got one finisher and pick your Hell in a Cell and go for it. This one's really fun because there's a lot of drama having a very long Hell in a Cell match. You get the advantage of having all of the weapons in there. Hell in a Cell itself by putting them through Hell in a Cell, and you're ultimately just trying to get it into being a last man standing match where they're counting to 10. So I like that it's hardcore, I like the Cell element in there, and having a straight up one-on-one, -on -one, it makes it fun for especially for in like a big grueling feud rivalry or for a title match. The next one, it's pretty fun. I love doing this a lot of the time anyways. This is a fatal four-way elimination tag team match, brother. Will be a tag team match. We need Teddy Long back. Four teams, elimination rules. Head over to eight man match and select four way tornado tag. Everything is normal on the second page for win conditions, but for the rules, we're turning eliminations on. Mess around with the different weapons to see what you like and have fun. This is one of my go-to matches for tag team matches because you're having the ability to get those eliminations in. It's really fun though, if your tag team partner gets eliminated really early in the match, because then it's down to you and you have to get through all of the different teams and survive. So if you're gonna put the tag team titles on the line in this match, it ends up being a lot of fun, or you and your tag partner are able to get the advantage and you're ending up in like a handicap match situation. Really cool match, put the titles on the line, you're gonna have a lot of fun. The last match here, and we got a little bonus for you at the very end, but this one last match is one of my new favorite ones to do, and I love elimination matches. Go figure, there's a big theme here. But it's a match type stipulation that we don't see in WWE anymore. And it's a three-way dance, a three-way, a triple threat, 
elimination match, but go put double titles on the line. It reminds me a little bit of the match of Jericho, Benoit, and Angle at WrestleMania, where they had both belts on the line, and whoever would win a fall, the first fall, would end up being that champion. They pinned the champion there, and then the other belt. This one, we tweak it just a little bit. We have the elimination rules on. We put both titles on the line. So in this match that we're showing, we have both the Intercontinental and the World Heavyweight Championship on the line. Put a 60 minute time limit on this and have fun. Make sure you put double titles on the line just to add the flair to it to make it more interesting. But I had a blast having this match put together. And the one I show you on screen here, Gunther got eliminated so he lost the Intercontinental Championship. And then it was down to Drew and Seth Rollins. So if you wanted to play by the universe rules, Seth would have been double champion in the match. And at the very end, Drew ended up winning and beating Seth Rollins. So he got both the belts. And in this scenario that I played through, Drew was the one walking in with no titles and he walks out with both of them. So make sure you set all of these up. But the bonus that I was talking about was with regards to universe mode. For most of these match types, except for the last one dealing with double title match because we can't do that in universe apparently go into the match table and modify all of the standards for either your pay-per-views or for each week's show for raw and smackdown for example all of the default matches for the match table are pretty boring but if you go to one of the vacated slots you can select custom matches and then you could insert any of the custom matches that you've set up. So if we wanted the five way first blood match, increase the chances of when this is going to occur. So if we want it to be 100% of the time, go for it, limit it to just one time and put it as the main event. Remember when you set up match tables though, these will occur every single week unless you change it. It's usually a little bit better if you have a custom match that you love to use, then put it in here. But typically, you want to be able to use these when it comes to pay-per-views, premium live events, and you want to be able to modify the match table there. So for WrestleMania Backlash, as an example, we can modify this to have a lot of fun. And I want to have that last man standing Hell in a Cell match. We're going to make sure it's 100% going to happen. Where we can only allow one of them to happen. And this is going to be for the championship and it's going to be in the main event. And as we simulated and go all the way to Backlash, you can see the main event is set up where it's Cody versus Roman, one-on-one, -on -one, last man standing, Hell in a Cell, and the WWE Championship is on the line. But comment below your favorite custom match types and if you enjoyed this video and it helped you, hit the like button, but don't go anywhere. Watch this video here because we got more news and updates when it comes to 2K24 you don't want to miss out. See ya.